Today in our 2007 GMC Sierra 1500, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Blue Ox base plate kit, part number BX1674. This is what our base plate looks like installed. It's going to be used for if this vehicle is going to be towed behind an RV. As you can see, it's going to fit in the existing hole in your bumper where your tow hooks were. It's also going to have safety chain loops here that's going to come through the existing hole next to your base plate on each side of the vehicle. As you can see, you've got a nice size hole. It's going to give you plenty of room for different size safety chain loops or hooks. It also is going to come with removable arms. Simply pull the pin, twist, and slide out. First thing we're going to do to begin our installation is we're going to remove our tow hook from a driver and passenger side. In order to do that, you're going to have two bolts here. They're going to be 18 millimeter, and you're going to have one nut inside. This back one here is not going to have a nut, it just bolts right into the frame. You can pull your tow hook out. Next thing we need to do is we need to cut out this section for our tow bars to come through. Now we're going to take the utility knife and we're going to cut those sections out. And we're going to repeat that on the other side of the vehicle. We're going to get underneath our hood and we're going to remove this panel here. We're going to have eight push pins. You're going to have four here on your driver's side and four here on your passenger side. We're just going to take a screwdriver and you're just going to pry up the center until it comes out. Once you got those removed, you can take off this panel. Next, we're going to take a 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove two bolts from the driver's side on top of our grill. And you're going to have two more on the passenger side. We're going to remove this bolt right here using a 21 millimeter socket and a couple of long extensions. Now we're going to do this on both sides, but before we do the other side, now we're going to have two push pin fasteners we're going to have to remove. You're going to have one here on the driver's side, and you're going to have one on the passenger side. You just take a flathead screwdriver, like we did with the ones on the top panel, and we're going to pry those up. Next what we're going to do is on our passenger side here, along this framing, we're going to pull this wiring out just to get it out of our way for a second. This hole right here, we're going to mount our breakaway switch bracket. We're going to mount it just like that. We're going to be using quarter inch by 20 by three quarter inch bolt with a quarter inch by 20 nut. Now we'll take an 11 millimeter socket and wrench and we'll tighten their nut and bolt down. So what we have determined is our bracket here, to get our holes lined up, you may have to tap it in with a rubber mallet. The reason for that is the nut that is on the top of the frame. So now we're going to take our long bolt, a split lock washer, and our lock nut. And we're actually, when we took the tow hooks out, we took our bolts, the bolt head was on this side. We're actually going to put, put them in this way. And they could be a little bit difficult to get in, but they will go in. Now, as you can see here, on our front hole, the bolt is not wanting to come through all the way. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to take a drill bit, and we're going to, while this is in place, while this bracket is in place, we're going to run the drill bit through to open this hole up a little bit bigger. For this front hole, I'm just going to be using a 916 drill bit. It fits right inside of the existing holes inside the bracket. All I'm wanting to do is open up the other side.
Once you get your front bolt through, we're gonna put a lock washer and a lock nut on it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna drill a pilot hole on this other side of the frame with a small bit. And then we're gonna finish it with a 1760 force. We're gonna finish it with a 1760 force drill bit. So we'll start with a pilot hole, small drill bit. Guys. Once you have your pilot hole drilled, now you can go back through and drill with your 17 30 seconds drill bit. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some spray paint. I'm just gonna spray paint the open metal. I'm gonna do that on both sides of the frame, on both sides of the vehicle. Next we'll take our second long bolt and we'll feed it through our back hole that we just drilled. We'll go ahead and take off the lock nut washer that we put on the front one. I'll take our safety chain bracket and we're gonna put it in place. You wanna make sure that this end is facing toward the outside of the vehicle. This end is going through the bumper where your tow bracket is. It's gonna go right next to it. And then you line your two holes up with your bolts that are holding your bracket. Next thing you wanna do, once you get your bolts through, is you wanna take some red Loctite, and we're gonna put it on the threads of our bolts. On both sides. Once you get some Loctite on, then you can go ahead and put your sweat lock washers and nuts on and tighten everything down. Once we have this done, you can go ahead and tighten that up. Next, we'll take a 19 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter wrench, and we can tighten up our hardware. And we're gonna repeat that same process on the other side of the vehicle. Next, we wanna put our safety cable on. We're gonna go up and around this frame bar that runs across the center of the vehicle. Put it on like this. And we're gonna stick it right in this hole on the end of the bracket that's connected to our base plate. We're gonna take the other side, do it like this. Do that on, and you can do the same thing on the other side of the vehicle. So now our bolts are on the top side of our frame. We want to pull them out, put a little bit of Loctite on them. We'll go back through and we'll torque everything down to the specifications and the instructions. we can reinstall our panel. Last, we'll install our removable arms. Simply gonna push in until it goes in and your pin comes out, twist until it locks into place. And that'll do it for the Blue Ox base plate kit, part number BX1674 on our 2007 GMC Sierra 1500.